I think once you grow up around here, it's almost like <laughs> it's the plan. You grow up going to games, you watch your favorite players out on the field, and you dream about one day being there. It was something that we always knew we were gonna do. 94th, the catcher, number seven, Nate Terrace. In Spring Hill, two bars, a church, and a garage, and a ball field. And we always said that's all you need. Sundays, there would be church, and then everybody would migrate up to the ball field, and that was what I grew up doing. High school career was fun. Played with the same group of guys the whole way through, and the fun thing about that was when we all graduated, we all started playing against each other in this league, and you had that bond from playing with, but it was more fun to play against them. We're hitting the ball, let's go, come on. Bergy, how long ago did it seem like we played together? Like, yesterday. 50 years ago? Oh, yeah. Damn, <laughs> I feel like a catcher has to have a little bit of an attitude, and uh, there are certainly guys that will tell you that uh, on the field, Nate, and off the field, Nate, are two different people. Hey, where the ball takes ya? You, me, you, me. Come on, Benny. Here we go, here we go. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Let's hit. Stepping up to the plate, the catcher, number seven, Nathan Terrace. Playing with my three brothers for 15 years has been more than I can even ask for. First memories are probably back air baseball, me against Jamie. That's how we started. And then Eric was born, we're 10 years apart. He was always the little guy, but we did not take it easy on him. It was make up your own games every day. Supposed to be helping on the farm more than we maybe did, but we always found time to, to wander away. And uh, dad would have to come find us every once in a while playing ball. And it really is very family oriented. The uncles, the aunts, the grandparents, the moms and dads, the friends that come and watch, and it's like, wow, it's just, it's amazing. Club adding left fielder, Devin Matthew. <laughs> Second effective at bat. <laughs> Good luck, Bergie. Show up the wheels right here. <laughs> Got a couple flat tires. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. <laughs> the main thing I always tell the kids is you have fun and you hustle, good things are going to happen for you. Say if my jersey's not dirty after a game, did I do what I needed to do to get us where we wanted to go? I love baseball more than any other sport just because it brings everybody together and it's just undescribable how it has built who hopefully they will be and also who I am. Grandpa played in Lake Henry. We would go to my grandpa grandma's house every Sunday. He would walk up to the ballpark with us. We would go up there, watch him take batting practice and just run around and play in with the kids from Lake Henry. It was our dream always to play. I played Little League Legion in Spring Hill. When I started, I was in fourth grade and I started playing amateur baseball when I was 17 years old. The first year I played, was the first year that the Spring Hill team made this regional tournament. Some of those games to get to those regions were just things I'll never forget. I mean, crowds that were amazing. I mean, the town was on fire. And then 2007, we win the region and we make our first state tournament. So it was something that got started early and we just always wanted to get to that point in the 2001 high school all-star game. I did get the chance to play with Joe. Joe was 6'6", six, six. I'm 5'9", and I'm sitting here, I'm like, I am playing against Joe Mauer right now. And uh, we actually had a kid from Cold Spring pitching, Jason Schlangen, and uh, I was catching, and we struck Joe out, which was a huge deal because Joe, I don't think struck out his senior year of high school. And I'll never forget it. It was amazing. And our kids are like, yeah, my dad played with Joe Mauer. And I was like, well, not with, I mean, against one time, but it was quite an experience. So I started coaching Eddie when he was six and they've all came through and uh, just to see them grow and build those bonds with their friends. And hopefully they will 
have the same experiences that I got to have. I do look for the days where I can sit in the stands with Amy and watch them play. That is something that I actually do look forward to, but I'm not gonna lie, it, it like next spring it will pull at me to like not throw the catcher's gear on for one more time and I just I don't know when that'll be, but I do know like I just like being around the guys. That stuff, it's better than the games. That's what I will miss the most.